You're not gonna throw up, are you? Down in one. There was one time where James and I had a fight in the apartment. And now the big question, what happened with James? What happened? Oh, here we are. It's a cold day today, but we are going to go and see. Oh, you're asking me what we're gonna go and see, Raj? What, Hold on a minute, let me around? just, let me, well, it's, who well, else I could I possibly be confused. talking to? I thought you had like an old person over there. Right, what are we going to go and see? The new Spider-Man movie. New Spider-Man movie. Now, Kim Kardashian, she got in a lot of trouble for leaking uh, exactly what happened in the movie. So don't worry, we're not going to do that. I thought you were about to tell me she's in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kim Kardashian is the new Spider-Man. She, um, she shoots webs from her butt. She just like pushes one out and just, <laughs> just flies through the sky. Getting the popcorn. He's got the popcorn. They've got such a selection. Look at this. Yeah, They've got like... Right. Little sweet thing, it's crazy. That's why I looked at like, oh, Bottle of wine, bottle of wine while you're watching your movie. Living the life right now. Seats are back. Is your seat back? Yeah. Yeah, oh, this is nice. Got the popcorn. It's good cinema. Predictions, what do you think is gonna happen? It's already been spoiled for you. Okay, don't say, don't say. <laughs> Imagine if you just like told everyone exactly what happens. Don't do it. Oh, well, that is Spider-Man watched. I'm not going to lie. That was, that was pretty decent. That was pretty good. It was surprising. There was a lot of surprises along the way. Don't ruin it. I, James, I know James is like no, eager to... I mean, <laughs> Don't tonight, ruin tonight it. was the last night it was in cinema. So. Okay, here's a question. If you could have any type of superpower, what would it be and why? Teleport. You could do anything. Teleport. Teleport, teleport then you can rob banks and get away with it. You James, you're just admitting to crime on you camera. You can teleport to the blind spots <laughs> I would, I, I would use it for, yeah, maybe like travel the world. Wait, wait, how are you going to get caught doing crimes if they never catch you? Well, oh, you'll still be on camera. Mask, mask. Right, so James, you you're, li you're literally planning a bank robbery on the vlog. I was, I was expecting you to go, I was expecting you to go, oh, I'd love to go to like McDonald's and I could get all the chicken nuggets. No, I'd like to rob a bank. This, this video is obviously clearly a joke. James is a comedian, so uh, don't take any of this uh, seriously. <laughs> James is all of a sudden just teleports, like... James? James just, like, teleported. Oh, oh my god, he's teleported over there. Madness, mate. Mad... <laughs> now, something very cool has happened, guys. We've been entered in the Glamour Power List competition, and if you scroll down to number 31, we have been nominated for the best CBD drops, unique CBD Unite drops right there. Come on, I'll go. Vote for us. Vote, right. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not sure we're allowed to vote for ourselves, but okay, we have. We really want to win this because it would be so cool to say that we've won Glamour's Wellness Awards. So please click this link in the description and vote for us. Remember, it's number 31, best CBD drops, unique CBD. Please do it, please do it, please do it. Get your mums, get your dads, get your cousins, your uncles, your aunts, your dog, your fish, your pet rabbit. Get them all. <laughs> To vote for us, please. We I will very need much all appreciate the support it. we can get. Exactly. It won't take that long, I promise. You literally click it, put your email, and it's done. Have you clicked it yet? Click that link. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Today's the day we have a drink. Yeah. We're going to have a drink. We've got it in front of us. Right, what have you gone for? I've got AU, the best full car in the game. The AU. What flavour is that, by the way? It's no, blue. Blue raspberry. But this is the best full car. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know, I've, I've... Don't worry about the rest of them, it's the only vodka you should be drinking. I've recently seen this TikTok trend go viral because everyone thinks that this is ingrained into the bottle, but do you know it's it's just a sticker? No, it's not a sticker. It's, it's a sticker. Not. It's a sticker. No, it's not. I mean, you, you, you can try and take it off if you want. No, it... it's a nice bottle. <laughs> it is. All right, you're on the AU with lemonade. I am on... The tequila oh, with with soda. Now, for anyone that doesn't know uh, out there and may think that you're still 11 years old, how old are you? I'm 19. Well, I'm 18, but I'm pretty much 19. I'm ba I'm I'm 18, but in like basically I call it 19 because like in like a month and like one day I'm in like I'm three like, months I'm 19. So yeah, I'm literally. Like, I might as well be 19. All right, go on then, pour this out. I want to see this because this is going to be like a crazy blue if you can actually. Can you open it for me? Oh my god. You know I don't I struggle with the child looks. <laughs> A child lock yeah. for drinking. Right, there you go. Yeah, that's a good one. Right, pull that in. I never thought that we'd be doing vlogs having a drink together. It's a bit weird. But we can't do it. 
He's gonna go everywhere. Oh, what does it smell like? Oh, that actually smells really good. All right, pour that in. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, an, that's enough. That will sort you out, mate. Right, and you're gonna have lemonade with that, are you? Yeah. Now, me personally, I'm a tequila kind of guy, so I like this one. Vivre tequila. Um, it's pretty nice. It's pretty good, pretty decent. Tequila. Go in. In if I can take the top off. Yeah, see, look at that. that. Whoa, oh. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. Look at that. Have a little sip. Go on, have a little sip. Tell us what it's saying. 10 10. 10 10, 10 10, Ben 10. 10 10, Ben 10, right, boom. 10 10. Can't go wrong with this vodka. <laughs> right, tequila. Going in. By the way, just to say, I am not encouraging drinking at all. Obviously, you have to be over the legal age in the country that you're from to drink. So, no drinking if you are underage. I just think the bottle design is just mad. <laughs> I've never seen someone so excited about a bottle before. Do you see that bottle design? That's just like mad there. No, like this or that, I might start collecting the bottles. <laughs> I used to no, do that. Like, you know you I used to do that. I used to do that. Oh, I, I, I think about it now though, and I just think it's a bit sad. But yeah, I used to. You used to have all the Grey Goose ones. No, that was that was Joe and Casper. I used to have champagne bottles, but I'll tell you this, right? I had the champagne bottles, but then I wrote on them for what occasion they were. So say if it was like for my birthday or something like that, I'd then write birthday nineteenth. So then it was kind of like a memorable thing. James is gonna be like. I got paid, so I'm drinking AU tonight. Well, you can't <laughs> celebrate when you get paid. Well, I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, may, may, yeah, all right. Every time we get paid, we're buying drink. I mean, at least now everyone will actually finally get that I'm 18 and I'm not 15. Well, that's why I thought we, that's... They all seem to think I'm like five years younger than I am. <laughs> everyone, 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 everyone thinks you're like three years old still. They're like, oh, James is so cute. Right, okay. Here we are. Um, I think the first thing we need to do before we start this, well, drinking Q&A, which might turn into a drunk Q&A, is uh, do a little shot. So, uh, what? You we don't lack shots. What? I'm doing tequila, you're doing AU. Can't be doing shots. Mate, that's basically like apple sours. No, it's, but I don't lack shots. Okay, you don't want to throw up, are you? Are you going to throw up? <laughs> Are you gonna throw up if we do a shot? Let's whack these over here. That sponsor of the channel. Sponsor we've we've gone from uh, reviewing food and reviewing kids' toys Best to vodka on the market to now drinking alcohol. Cheers, happy new year. Don't shots. Down in one. <laughs> He's only, he hasn't even done it. No, not good. Oh, that was lovely. Gorgeous. I really don't like shots. <laughs> right, are we ready? I was going to do it that every question we answer would then follow up with a no, shot. No, I'm not so, doing shots. I'd, I'll pour myself drinks. When I finish this drink, I'll pour another one and another one, but I'm not doing the shots. Right, okay. So, I asked you guys on Instagram to send in some questions to ask James and I, and uh, this, is, this is some questions that you asked. First question. Can I have your phone number for business inquiries only? You can. It's inquiries at TV. Dot com. I thought that was for me, I was going to be like, no. And these aren't just questions for you, I'm oh, not interviewing, oh, this is for oh, both oh, of us. Oh, I'm not just interviewing you right now. I thought we were saying the God, you think you're the main, main man on the show, do you? Yeah, be. Are you still with Evie? I'm presuming that's obviously for me and not James, otherwise that would be really weird. I am still with Evie. Evie? Yeah? Are we still together? Yeah? Yeah, we're still together. I would have laughed if she said no. What? what? Imagine she goes, yeah, guess what? I'm dumping you. Tomorrow is actually, it's our five year anniversary. Five years. We've been together for five years. Five glorious, like great years. It sounds like eternity. It's like forever. That is literally forever. I mean, when you find the one. That's pretty much how long I've been you alive. Got, you, got, you got the what? You were 19. That's a third of how long I've been alive. I mean, you're still very young though, that's the thing. Next one. How are you enjoying your new flat in London? It's all right, it's nice. I love like how we it. both picked up the drink together. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, no, I like it. I get to have my own space and I don't have people bothering me. I get to do what I want, make my food when I want to want, make, when I want to make it. <laughs> okay, so you know main, I mean? main, like... main reasons for moving to London, I get to make food and do, see people when I want. No, 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 like, if I wake up and yeah. I want food and it's three in the morning, I can make food. 
If I wake up and I want food, whenever I want to make food, I can make food, pretty much what I'm trying to say. You could literally make food whenever you wanted, like back home. No, no, because Dad used to always get angry if I made food after 10 o'clock at night. Do you know why? Because James would go and take crisps up to his bedroom, and then rather than putting them in the bin, he would hide them behind the bed. <laughs> And I think that was why they got annoyed. No, even if I was cooking that, like, so I started cooking pasta at like midnight, he'd come down and be like, why are you using all... I mean, to be, honest, to be honest, you really shouldn't be eating pasta at midnight, but well, like... sometimes I'm hungry at midnight. Then maybe you just got to have a bit of control and go, you know what, I'm going to go to bed and then wake up and have a, an amazing breakfast. And now the big question that everyone has been asking, and everyone I feel like has thought we were going to avoid this, but we're going to hear head on, but what happened with James, what happened? What I basically happened? just started chilling with the wrong people, but now I'm back and I'm better. I'm exactly. Doing better things. Exactly. You, you, exactly. you realise that, you're better, you're more mature, you're on it. Boom! Cheers to that one. Cheers. Hey, you've got to cheers it before you drink, and then well, you... Now we have you, another drink. You, okay, good, two drinks. So that's what happened. Stop chatting about it. Do you want to move into a bigger place? I would love to move into a bigger place and have like more areas to film and have more people over and do, James is just gazing. Oh, I just, I just, <laughs> James is gone, the he's light, gone. Light, that bite, that bite <laughs> caught my eye, the flashing light. A tiny flashing light caught your eye rather than this fat light in front, a camera and us having a drink. I saw it out the corner of my eye and I was like, right. what's that? So basically, yeah, I'd love to get a bigger place. Um, it, it would obviously mean moving out of London. I'm, I'm actually okay with moving out of London now because I've spent lockdown in here and I love this apartment but I'm ready to ready to maybe get a bigger place a little bit further out. What's your favourite alcohol? AU vodka best on the market you can get this from any like supermarket Casazu. you can get Tequila. this from any supermarket in England make sure you get your hands on this absolutely amazing vodka. God, I wish you promoted unique C B D like you're promoting AU right now. <laughs> So this is a nice one, this is for you personally. Yeah, yeah. James has inspired me very much recently. Not a question, but wanted to say, well done. Appreciate it. Have you ever both embarrassed each other in front of people? James has embarrassed me a lot in front of people. How? Yeah. How? Just like numerous ways. I'm not an embarrassing guy. You're the embarrassing guy. Well, what have I done? You just tell stories that you think are funny, but really are. Like what? Like you just try and call me out in front of people. What do you mean call you out? Like, what, I'm gonna start fighting you when we're hanging out with people? What do you mean you're, calling you're just you trying, out? you like, causing, like, arguments. I never cause, what are you talking about? You love it, don't lie. You're chatting rubbish. James basically sometimes, if I have a conversation with something that he doesn't want to know, he'll like start storm off and start shouting. I don't storm off. <laughs> no? I just take He sometimes exit. storms off. I just walk away calmly. I will say, there was one time where James and I had a fight in the apartment. That's, oh, I remember that. That's for another story time, but we did once have a fight in this apartment. Were you on about the time in the office? Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll explain that in another video. If you, wanna, if you wanna know that for another video, then you better hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and leave us a comment saying you want to hear that story time. But that's, that's, that's for another time. Anyway, next question. James, what are the pros and cons of living by yourself? Anything you want to do, you can do it. There's no one walking around going, oh, what are you doing? You need to, you need to get out of your bed. You need, you, need, you need to wake up. And what are some of the cons? It's boring. It's boring? Well, like, you ain't got people to talk to. Like, like I like living on my own, yeah, but... What but maybe, maybe, you need to, maybe you here. need to do something then. No, but what I think would be sick here is that like, getting like a big flat, say like a three, four bedroom flat, yeah, but having someone else, like one of your old mates in there as well. I don't know what three, four bedroom flat you're thinking, but like three, four bedroom flats around here cost like six, not seven London. million. Obviously not in London. I was going to say six, seven... Four five bedroom flats cost about seven million. No, I'd rather, at, that point, at that point, I just rent a four if not five more. bedroom house. I yeah, I, I, think, I think a house would be better than a flat. Yeah, because at least you're still paying bare money. But so in the future, in the future, do you think you'll probably like live with some mates or something? Yeah, because then you've always got people to chill with, innit? It's not yeah. like at night you're just sat there on your own watching Netflix, eating your food. Exactly. Where do you see yourself in ten years? Living in America. Do you really think? I want to live in America. I want to move there and get citizenship there. Really? Yeah. But you've you've never where in America? California. You've never been there. 
Doesn't matter. It what if you turn? What if you turn up and you hate it? I wouldn't hate it. it what, looks what, sick. What, America is the best country what you, what in the you, world. What if you turn up and you literally hate no, it? No, I'm right. Listen, yeah. America is the best country in the world. No matter where you are, yeah. You can drive to somewhere that's hot. You can all right, drive all right. to somewhere that's cold. You all can right. drive to. There's if, if, you, if, if you're American, let us know in the comments. Do you really, really love where you live, and would you recommend James moving to? I would love. I would love. I want. I wouldn't want to move to LA though. I'd want to move to Cali, California though. Why are you laughing at me? What? Because I said Cali. Okay, where in California? I don't know, like, um... So let's have a look on the map, right, shall we? Yeah. California, so San Francisco, Los Angeles, or Tijuana. San Diego. Tijuana sounds cool. Tijuana? Tijuana? That's on the border for... Badger, California. What's Badger, California? I don't know, but it sounds cool. Maybe we both need to go back to school. I think so we should go to America. Road trip on America. Look, it when you were- be a whole series when you, when, when you were maybe younger, I'd go, yeah, let's do it. Now, I, I, I don't think I'd have noise it. Noise cancellation headphones. <laughs> or- what, So I just walk around with noise cancellation headphones? No, no, headphones. or because in America, you can drive at the age of 16. Well, I'm already old enough to drive anyway, but we can- Get a caravan Wait, each. There's absolutely no we way. We can get though. an RV each. We've got to drive across no, America. Well, I definitely wouldn't get in a car with you. No, no, an RV each. Like we have our own van but, each. But you've done. And we can have walkie talkies. You've like done talkie. three. You've done like four driving lessons, and then you literally quit. You went. To, Mum was yes. like, James, we're going to pay for driving lessons, and you literally went, I don't want to do it anymore. Yes, but Americans drive automatic. You could do that blind. Why did you refuse to take driving lessons? I didn't refuse. Could Mom, I have stopped turning up? You said. To mum, you didn't want to do. No, that I anymore. didn't. He didn't turn up the next week, and then it just he didn't turn up the week after or the week after that. Because I think it was maybe just not booked. Next question: What are the benefits of Unique CBD? Well, personally, I James is caught by a bike again. That yeah. bike is bloody interesting over there, isn't it? It's not even a bike. I know it's not even there anymore. So personally, I take CBD in the morning, and I also take it before I sleep. It helps me kind of like wind down before the night. And uh, as some of you guys may know, I do a lot of cryptocurrency, a lot of trading at the moment. So I take that when I'm feeling quite pressured and in a stressful situation. Uh, but if you want to check out Unique CBD, then go to uniquecbd.co.uk. Can I put it in toilet? I needed one before we started filming. <sighs> it's going great. I'm back. He's back. Right. Okay. Next question. Has James got hairs under his armpits? He hasn't Obviously, developed Obviously, standard. Yet. I'm a man. He hasn't developed I'm a full yet. grown stinking man. I'm 18. You're a stinking man, mate. You're not, your head's not even on camera. Of course, sit, I'm a full-grown man. Sit down. You're a stinking man. I'm a full-grown man, and I've, I can show you my hair on my armpit if you don't believe me. I don't believe you. Get your armpit out. Don't <laughs> worry, we believe you. We believe you. We believe you. How's James's ladies game, lol? Oh, I've, I've got enough gal. I've got a gal on tap. Right. Next, next question. Favorite thing to eat when you're drunk? KFC. Uh, I love. What do I love? I mean, pizza is always great, but Four in the I used to always get a kebab or a subway after a night out. See, Look, mainly when I went out. The way this thing happened, yeah, the other day I was drinking and then I tried to eat something and my mouth was up really hurt when I was eating at the top of my mouth. Is that normal? I think you should probably go to a doctor. No, it stopped now. <laughs> when are you going to start taking James clubbing and get him drunk? This is basically. It's tomorrow. No, wait, no. My idea arrives on the weekend. Let's go next weekend. No. Yes. The thing is, right? This. this and we is, can vlog the experience. This is, hold on, problems. hold on. This is where we're at, right? I am now 27. Well, nearly 27. I'm 27 on the January 26th. So remember my birthday. The thing is, I used to go out so much. Like when I mean so, much, I went out like four or five times a week. James has caught that bike, that bloody bike again. I can't help it. I've got ADHD. So I used to literally go out like four or five times a week. Get so drunk which I don't recommend anyone does. And I, I, I'm past it. Going to a club for me is like going to Waitrose. It's a casual thing. It's well, a casual thing. Do you know what? I do, do I've done too much. I don't on. like no, it. No, anymore. no, hang on. That's not fair. You took dad. You took dad. <laughs> You want to take your brother? I literally took my That's dad. That's what you're meant to do. You're meant to take your brother, not your dad. I literally took my dad to a club called Drama. It was like what? It was like it's a really good club in London, actually. It's not there anymore. It's but like I took, the I took him clubbing. What you're meant to do, if anything, he was meant to take you clubbing. You were like ten years old when but I took you. Could, you what about now? I'm full grown. I 18. still think you look like thirteen, but so I you might get, get in. I've got my ID, <laughs> and we can go. All right, maybe one day we go to right, a well, club. No, no, hang on. It's Only because now I can pressure him into it. For my birthday, I want you to take me to a club. But what kind of club, though? Like I saw a club that you and JJ used to go to. 
Yeah, but the thing is with those kind of clubs, you have to have a table, and then to get a table, you have to okay, spend well, a lot of money. What other clubs then? That are going to be like. I'll take you to Roxy, the student club that I used to go to. I used to go there with JJ, like right, Alfredi, yeah, Palace, Joe, Casper. Yeah, if they used to go there, then it's a good club. Right, shake on it. So they can mate, see. I don't. I don't think I can go there. Mate, I'm shake. twenty. Mate, the thing is, there's a lot okay, of young people I've there. I've I've looked. You go on your ones. You go on your ones. You're not meant to go clubbing on your ones. No! So what do you do if you're bored on your own on Friday night? You just sit at home like a loner? Would it not be really weird to go clubbing on your own? Well, that's the best way to meet girls, because then it's conversation start. Oh, hi there. I've got no friends, so I'm here on my own. So can you be my friend? Then you just friends, yeah. Right, maybe. I'm not saying yes, maybe. Next one. Does James smoke? No, I don't smoke. I vape though. <laughs> Why have you just changed your accent all of a sudden? <laughs> no, no, I don't smoke. Yeah, but I I'm didn't late. change my accent. Right, say it one more time. Does James smoke? No, I don't smoke. Okay, no, I, can I don't. It now. You know, can you can hear, hear it. No, uh, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> nah, I don't smoke, but I vape sometimes. There we go. You didn't think we were going to answer that one, did you? Okay. Can I have one k for a car? One k pounds. One k for a car. Can I have a thousand pounds for a car? No. Sorry, no. You can't. I so love how you. How do you get money? But I can't just give you a thousand pounds for a car. Sorry. It's a lot of money. Next one. Can we see James's feet? No, so you can't see my feet. That's weird. <laughs> Someone's got a foot that, that is No, that is, that's extremely weird. Feet fetishes. Like, there's something weird about that. Have you got a fetish? No. You don't have a fetish? No. I'm just a normal guy. Oh no, it's, my it's like guy. so normal to have a fetish. No, no. You're not, you that's why it's called a fetish. You haven't got a foot fetish? No. Everyone has foot fetish. You're a weird Basically, if you, you need to check yourself if you don't, for if, clinical <laughs> health. <laughs> You need if, to go to a psychiatrist. If you don't have foot fetish, it basically means you're the odd one out. No, which you're telling me you lack feet. Oh yeah, ma ma massive you're foot wrong. fetish. You're wrong. You're <laughs> wrong. I'm joking. I don't have a foot fetish. Next one. This is James's favourite question. Who has the biggest forehead? Ollie. Let's measure. Go on, get your forehead out. Look at that forehead! No, his forehead's bigger. Your forehead is bigger. <laughs> but I don't know if it's because of your hair as well. It's probably my hair. Your, hair your, your hairline's got a bit further back. And that's it! That's it already. That's it. That's the question. It's only like ten questions. I know, guys. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. Get more wavy. All right, another shot then. Go on then. No, no, please, no, 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 not another shot, please, no.